Hi everyone, my name is Daniel Blackburn and in today's lab we're going to talk about soil microbial respiration and I will show you a cool uh, method using microplate reader uh, for measuring soil respiration, the method that we are currently using in our lab. This week's lecture was about the carbon cycle. Yeah, so we we have seen on the carbon cycle that the way that the carbon moves from organic molecules from the soil environment back into the atmosphere is basically through respiration processes. And what is respiration? The microbes are using also plants and animals, yeah, but microbes predominantly in soil systems or using carbon rich molecules like uh, fiber, uh, sugars, proteins. Uh, they are using these molecules as a source of energy. And a byproduct of that reaction is the uh, CO2 emission. Yeah? So we can measure a respiration process in the soil by measuring the evolution of CO2, how much CO2 is being, uh, the, how much the concentration of CO2 is increasing. So in order to notice that increase, we need a closed system. Yeah? And the most common way that we can measure this, uh, create this closed system, is by using jars. Yeah? A jar like this, you can put anything inside a suspension, uh, uh, aerobic soil condition, anything that you put inside, you can measure the difference in CO2 inside this uh, air not only CO2, but you can measure actually whatever gas that is being emitted by the microbes, the accumulation, the change in concentration of each gas in this chamber in time, you can transform that into a rate of respiration, a rate of emission. And that rate is what we are interested in. Yeah? So this system was uh, further adapted and is commonly used by using a uh, uh, indicators of the CO2 concentration. This is one of the systems here that you have on the back that is showing a color indicator of the CO2 concentra concentration in this closed system. So the, the, the system that I'm going to show you, it's a similar system. Uh, this is called a micro system and it's using a plate reader. What we have is a micro plate uh, that contains a CO2 trap. And as the CO2 is uh, evolving inside this chamber, uh, and then these plates will change color from this bluish color to a pinkish uh, color. And then by this color change, we can uh, use a calibration curve to estimate how much was the difference in the concentration of CO2 uh, inside this chamber. And by knowing the difference in concentration of CO2, we can then uh, calculate what is the uh, respiration rate. Yeah? So let's look at how this is. Some of the stock photos from the method. This is a microRES method. This is a trademark. I will put the link for the manufacturer below. And uh, they are from uh, James Hutton Institute in UK. Shout out for my friends in the James Hutton Institute, Team George, uh, and Larry Brown, and uh, Charlie Chand, Dave Lanson, and others. Um, so this, this method, uh, this respiration method is uh, based that we're going to have a deep well plate on the, on the bottom and we're going to fill this deep well plate. Each well will contain a similar amount of soil and we are going to place this uh, CO2 trap plate on the top of it and seal. So each deep well plate, deep well from the deep well plate on the, uh, on the bottom will be connected to one of these uh, uh, CO2 traps from the microplate on the top. And the method is based on pH change. This is a agar with cresol red. And the cresol red will, will change color based on, uh, in, on the pH. And uh, as it becomes more acidic due to the dissolution of carbonic acid, then this will uh, become more pinkish. Yeah? So let's see how, how this works a little bit better. So here is how you 
at the soils. You have a soil loader here on the, on the top of the plate reader. This is acrylic system where you put the same amount of soils and then you're gonna uh, release the slide and the soil will fall inside this deep well plate. So you, on top of this, you add a seal, yeah, a rubber seal, and then you will let the plate, the microplate CO2 trap on top of it. Then you will clip the system together using a metallic clip just to avoid that this, uh, there is any air leakage into the system. So I'm gonna show you now the full procedure that uh, um, Ahmed Rabayai did it for us. So thanks, thanks for Ahmed for doing this. I will show what he what he did now. So how, here is he is uh, preparing the the agar. The the agar uh, solution must be autoclaved or microwaved. Then he is mixing that agar with the queso red solution. Both solutions must be hot, but not too hot, uh, about uh, 55 to 60 degrees. Then you keep the solution in a water bath. Yeah. Uh, to avoid that, uh, when this solution is completely cold, it will be uh, uh, solid. So while the solution is still warm, you pipette that into the uh, into the microplate, which is receiving the 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 agar with preso red. Yeah. Next step is well, these plates that you prepared here, you need to leave this place about three days for maturing. The color will change during the first three days and then you can use it. So the next step is filling the soils into the deep oil plate. Here's the deep oil plate that you can see. And the, 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 here is Ahmed filling the soils with the soil loader. Yeah, you need to be very careful not to transfer soil from one, uh, 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 from one to another if you're using more than one soil sample. So here is the procedure where from the loader, he's transferring the soils uh, into the deep well plate on the bottom. Uh, and the loading procedure, ideally you do that with a, with a tape instead of, the, uh, of some mechanical stop like he was doing, but it's fine like this. As soon as, as uh, if you guarantee that your soil is not mixing from one well to another, it's fine. And you can load, for example, every two columns you can have a different soil sample in this system. So he slides the, the, the acrylic plate. So now the soils are uh, the soils are free to fall in the bottom deep well plate. So now he's going to just tap this system and let the soil fall uh, fall behind. And the next step here, if the soil is already loaded into the deep well plate, now he needs to add the carbon source because you will have the normal respiration that will be only uh, soil and water and the microbes will be using the soil organic matter. But you, will can, you can also have the uh, substrate induced respiration where you can add different sources of carbon and see how the microbes are responding to this carbon source. Yeah, so uh, he uh, is now, uh, the next step he will do, he will prepare and load the, the glucose solution into this. Now he's loading here glucose for some of the columns, but no, not all of them. And the ones with glucose will be the same soil, but measuring substrate induced respiration, yeah? not a respiration directly. So substrate induced respiration is the ability of the microbes to use and metabolize uh, uh, freshly added carbon uh, molecules added to the soil system. So one of the advantages of this uh, uh, microarray system is that the, 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 the microenvironment allows you to have a lot of replicates on this system and you, you increase precision and you can do a lot of more different conditions than you could do uh, using jar system. Now he's clipping here, putting the, the, the seal. And of course this plate, the trap plate was measured before he started the incubation. He will add the microplate on top of this, and uh, now he's going to cl uh, clip this plate just to avoid any air leakage. As soon as he as he clips this, as soon as he clips the system, he will then count the time, and uh, 16 hours later or 24 hours later, depending on how quick is the respiration process, he will measure this plate again on the microplate reader, and the difference in color will tell you uh, through the calibration curve how much CO2 evolved and increased the concentration inside that well. 
and you can use that according to the uh, manufacturer's uh, uh, manual you can use that to calculate the CO2 evolution, how much, how many micrograms of carbon per, uh, it, it's been released in time per hour per minute uh, during, the, uh, during that period in average. So this is the micro, uh, micro plate, uh, micro resp system uh, in short, and I hope you enjoyed, and I will put some questions about microbial respiration for you in the quiz. So thank you for watching, see you next time.